With the new Super Duper update for Grounded, you can maximize your carrying potential. 99 grass planks or wheat stems if you go through the steps I'm about to show you. Let's go, the ultimate carrier build. Step one, get yourself your ant armor. Old heads know about this, but you get additional one carry for each piece that you wear. So an additional three, making it eight total. Next is making sure you've got good supply of the sticky workers comp. This will increase your carry weight by another two. Obviously, depending on what you're using, whether you're making it with gum or just on its own, it's going to last longer, but usually around four to five minutes is how much you get to carry them extra two pieces. And since it's made directly from ant parts, as long as you've killed a bunch to get your armor, you should hopefully have enough left to keep you going for a while. So now the new stuff from the Super Duper update. You need to get your cozy level up. If you get up to level two, you unlock the first level of the Hauling Hero mutation, which will allow you to carry five extra planks or stems. Get up to level three, and that increases to 10, and get up to level four, and that increases to 15 extra planks you can carry. What you're seeing here is pretty much all the end game items. This is how little you would need. If you've been a big pro in Grounded, just go ahead and get all the statues and craft a lot of them, as well as some of the end game gear, like the new flower petal bed, the hot tub, and more of this. Some of these items you only unlock as you progress through the cozy levels. So how can you get there sooner? Don't forget base parts are included in that. They don't give as much, but if you've got a substantial base in a radius of six squares across six and six walls high, that anything inside will contribute to them cozy levels. So if you've got a ton of bug parts around, you might want to start making all of the stuff creatures or maybe easier for space, a lot of the trophies. Just for an example, without any additional base pieces around, you can get up to a cozy level three if you happen to craft every single bug trophy. Throw in the rest of your base actual pieces and the construction benches that you use and you'll quickly get to level four. And once you've unlocked the mutation, you don't have to worry about having your cozy level or certain level. It'll always be there, regardless of what kind of base pieces you have. So while you're building it up, you need to head over to the blue cap eventually in the upper yard and go down the tunnel, bring in your tier three axe to break through the roots. And this is where we're gonna pick up the hauling badge. Technically, it's called the intern badge, but you get the idea. This will increase your carry weight by another 10. It does slow you down as a negative, just like all the ominous badges, but it's still worthy if you've got all the resources at your location and you're gonna build. Otherwise, if you're transporting a lot, you might wanna sacrifice a little bit of how many you can carry in favor of something like speed. Of course, this leads us on to our next one, 60 planks. Obviously, the majority way that you're gonna be carrying all of your planks nowadays. It's the brand new plank carrier and stem carriers. These can be used and transport just like I'm showing you here once you've crafted them. They are made out of tier three resources though. So you are gonna need pine cone pieces. You'll also need lint rope and a bunch of clay. And obviously you can't get that until you go exploring the upper yard. So definitely a later game item, but even the regular plank carry can still hold quite a few. Now about the same time you get access to tier three tools, you should be hopefully collecting your pupa and maybe taking on more of the dust mites because then you can craft a fluffy pupa hat, which gives you an additional five carry. So wearing this with the ant chest piece and the legs will give you that seven carry weight in addition to the five that you normally have. And this is the ultimate carry build, the fluffy pupa hat, the ant chest, the ant legs, making sure you've got the intern badge equipped and you're drinking some of the workers comp as well as having the upgraded plank carrier. And max hauling hero, you can carry 99 grass planks. For sure, when I'm at base, I'd be switching up the intern badge because it does make you move just a bit slow with something a bit more speedy, like maybe even the speed droplet. And if you're building in a dangerous area, you can always swap out the chest piece and the bottoms for something that's gonna give you a bit more protection as you build, knowing that you've got so much more carry with the other stuff. So good luck getting the ultimate carry build. Let me know how you get on. If you've got any pictures of your actual real survival world, then send them my way in my Discord. And until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.